Hey folks, in this episode, we head to Cincinnati and check out the riverfront of the Queen City. And then we walk across the bridge to Covington, Kentucky. We even stop by the zoo. Let's check out the river together. Make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure. All right, it's President's Day and we came to Cincinnati because we have a couple days off, so why not? And we had a pretty nice hotel uh, in Mason, Ohio. And now we're downtown at the riverfront at Smale Riverfront Park. And I think we're gonna try to walk to Kentucky. We were really itching to travel and we decided to use the President's Day holiday to visit the Cincinnati Zoo. We'd find out later that everybody else had that idea too. It was eerily quiet down here on this Monday federal holiday and the weather wasn't too cold. John Smale gave $20 million for the park to be named in memory of his wife. Marion Spencer was the first African American to be elected to the Cincinnati City Council. This is cool, they have sort of a little playground here at the park. Give you some shots of the river here in a minute. There are typical playground structures here, slides, climbing walls, etc., all done in an urban concrete design. This could be fun. Oh. Hey, what's this thing? Dad, come watch this. Watch how fun the edge is. Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Here I go. Go on your back. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a walk over to the Ohio River here. It is so fast. Well, I mean, it's also going with the current. It's crazy, right? Next stop, St. Louis. Really? We have to walk to the This is the John Roebling Bridge. When it was finished in 1866, it was the longest suspension bridge in the world. It was also a forerunner of the more famous Brooklyn Bridge. By now, you've probably heard cars driving over the open grade surface. Really cool little playground here. The Go Vibrant Scape area is meant to encourage physical activity, and there are a number of pieces of exercise equipment here. I think there's some kind of chimes. This is a foot piano and it was installed by Verdon Bells and Clocks from the Cincinnati neighborhood of Over the Rhine. The world's largest chime foot piano. Huh? Here we go. I don't think it works right now. But that's it. It's a pig. It's a pig. Where did that You're right, it is a flying pig. Exactly, and pigs can fly. That'll be when the Bengals actually win a Super Bowl. <laughs> Sorry about that, Bengals fans, but we're from Pittsburgh. The boys are getting along. 
when pigs fly. <laughs> Go piggy fly, fly piggy fly. It's a collection of little activities to do here. Super modern looking playground equipment. Can you demonstrate that? Walk. Or swing. Yeah, mom knows how to do it. Oh. These things aren't for me. <laughs> All right, we're walking to Kentucky. Okay, I couldn't help that dad joke. The walk across the bridge was less than half a mile, about 600 meters. This is the John Roebling Suspension Bridge. We're crossing the Ohio River. There's the Ohio River. It's muddy. Got a lot of junk in it. We saw some barrels floating along. Here is the midpoint of the bridge. I'm guessing that this is Kentucky and this is Ohio, but I'm not totally sure. Oh, they have a QR code tour. The location of the state border is a lot more complicated. The Purple People Bridge website has a great explanation. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, so the water is very high right now. You can see that there's a walkway here and then it looks like it goes under that tunnel or goes into that tunnel and it's all underwater right now, which is kind of crazy to think about. And here we are in Kentucky. Look at that. Yeah, you're right. Well, you can see it, or you can really see it well again here. It's just, the river's very high. They even have some trees planted below the water level. These are called the Rubbling Murals. Here is another station on the bridge tour. We're not really gonna do the whole thing, but that's really a cool thing to see. And we are in Kentucky. Didn't think I'd make it to Kentucky on President's Day. First one's called Buffalo Road. Some of the other murals are called The Meeting at the Point, Kennedy's Ferry, and The Flight of the Garner Family. I'll put a link in the description for a really great virtual tour of the murals. Flight of the Garner family. Pontoon Bridge. It's the 1937 flood mural. These murals are painted on the flood walls along the Ohio River that protect Covington from flooding. The walls were built between 1948 and 1955 as a response to the devastating 1937 flood. Yeah, German heritage.
These are amazing, right? Look at that, the founder of Boy Scouts of America, Daniel C. Beard. And here's the last one, 2008. Boats can pull right up to those steps back there. Well, this is pretty cool. If Cincinnati is the queen city, Covington is clearly the hip little sister princess. There is art everywhere here. The gruff. Get it? The billy goat that lives under the bridge? Huh? What's that thing? It's a troll. Oh, yeah. It's a troll that lives under the bridge. This is the Northern Kentucky Law Enforcement Memorial. This memorial is located at the foot of the Roebling Bridge and hosts an annual service honoring those officers from Northern Kentucky killed in the line of duty. Underneath the bridge, settled on East 2nd Street, is the Gruff. They offer pizza, sandwiches, and craft beer. We were late for the zoo and didn't get a chance to eat there. I'd like to try that place out. There's that flood, flood control wall. All right, headed back. Oh, you can see the paddle wheel over there outside a great American ballpark. We're almost back to Cincinnati. There's the playground we were on earlier. More than 180 million tons of cargo are floated down the Ohio every year. Most of it is coal. Our real objective for this trip was to visit the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. It was about a 20 minute drive from Smale Park, but we did take a couple of detours. The zoo is right in the middle of the city and the sounds of the city could be heard the entire time we were there, particularly sirens, since it's close to many of the area's major hospitals. This is a stellar sea eagle. It's native to Northern Asia and it's enormous. The nests can be up to eight feet across. The Cincinnati Zoo is nice. It did seem as though a lot of the exhibits were not on loops, so people had to come back the way they came to go to another exhibit. It was a little congested. Also, there were a number of exhibits that were inaccessible due to construction in the zoo. A good time to schedule that, seeing that it was way off season. This is a Kia, a mountain dwelling parrot from New Zealand. They're very smart and can be trained to do tricks like beg for donations. Built in 1875, the Reptile House is the oldest American zoo building. More than 35 reptile species call it home. There were a lot of people taking advantage of the warm weather and day off. We were definitely out of place without a stroller, 
which was a bittersweet revelation. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we visit the incomparable Atwood Lake Park in Mineral City, Ohio, part of the Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, like and share this video, and comment below.